Hey guys, Betrayed here, and today we're on Prod's account. Um, he did just return to the game. He used to have a VIP 13, that was like level 408, I think, and a bunch of other accounts. But yeah, he just returned to the game, and he uh, bought a little account for himself. Nothing too serious, as you can see, only VIP 2, and I think that he actually got that himself. I'm pretty sure this account was free to play, but yeah, it's just VIP 2. Level 268 on my server, actually. Um, server 75, and yeah. Um, my bad. Um, this is what we're working with. Um, I'm trying to see if I could find anybody that I remember. And may I remember... Um, I think, is he on... Or is it army? Something like that, I don't know. He's on server 75 though, so probably him. Um, yeah, I'm not sure whose account this goes before, but yeah, let's take a look at it. Uh, six traps in this hero, so it's actually decently strong. Um, less stellar than my account on this server, just because I have three T5s, a T3, and then... Um, a V3 and a V0. He has a V4, uh, T5, T4, T3, T2, and a V1 right here with a little bit more imprints. So, I mean, not the most imprints, but honestly, for just a little starting account again, this is not too bad. Mm. How much power did this account have? Just put in the Transcendence Heroes, 102 million power, not that bad. Here's my little count from S75, uh, 118 million power, it's not really that strong, but you know, it's getting up there as I keep on playing on it every day. Let's actually see which account would win, unless you have presets lineups for PvP. Flame Shine, no CC, Realms Gate, Flame Shine, CC boss. Looks like this person was really about that. Like, um, maximizing flame shrine damage. Uh, could probably do something like this. There we go. And then let's put that on there. I'm not expecting you to beat me, but if you do beat me, that'd be a little surprising. Or maybe not. I don't know what lineup my account is in. Maybe it's still in SE. If no, she doesn't have a. Anders King, so this is not in the C setup. I already popped Unbending Will on two of my heroes, so that's not too good. Yeah, um. Okay, Jara is down from my account. I'm not sure who's gonna win, actually. You have a very good chance of winning. My account's really not PvP based. Except for DTV, he's kind of PvP based with a um, A and B and basically built for attack. I don't know how Asmodo took out a hero. He's only V3. I would expect HHA to do a lot more damage. Especially more than my um, DTV that only has 2 million attack. I'm sorry if it's lagging a lot. I don't know why it is. Usually it doesn't lag this much. Okay, we got hit hard. Do I only have a demon bell on my um Vesta? I thought I had something else. That's I had something better on her. We're gonna need uh these two actives from Elena and Asmodel to hit though, cause yeah, we're gonna need all the buffs we can to beat this team. They really have a bunch of sustain on their side. Okay, uh, my heroes are dropping fast. I need uh, Freya to do something here to pull a miracle out. Maybe DTV can pull the miracle. Okay, I need this to be one of the most insane actives ever. Okay, wow. Wow, I did not expect DTV to do that much. Um, Looks like if I actually put more into DTV, I could probably have a better PvP team. But honestly, uh, which are... With your HHA and your really strong Vesa, which 4.5 million attack with full sublimation. Okay, now I see why I lost. 
My my does not have nearly that much sublimation. Um, it's a decent setup. Really good, actually. You could probably make a, a once you get a um, what's it called? Once you get a a noble core, you could definitely go straight into um. Uh, sorry, <laughs> you could definitely go straight into destiny. So it looks like you're only missing the cores. I would definitely go for cores then. Um, even if it's like just Jara's or. You could probably go with Vessel or uh, Illimac. Or I've also heard that uh, Scarlet Queen Halora is pretty good. So I'm going for Scarlet Queen Halora first. Since um, that's who I had the most core of Origins for. And I was, that's who I was the closest to on my main account. I didn't have any Aspens or... I had one Vessa. And I didn't have any Asmodels. So... I wasn't going for them at the moment, and now I'm kind of stuck on this route, but it's fine, honestly, because it's not going to take that much time to get another Noble Core, especially since I'm not starting from scratch, hopefully, and um, yeah, the cores seem to be becoming more accessible as we, you know, keep on progressing in the game, but yeah, this actually looks uh, like a really nice account. It's definitely better than starting from scratch. You did uh, show me pictures of it this account before. But it was like um, speed HP. I don't think that's good, especially with the AMB. I would go with speed attack at least. But it looks like the dude did sell all his copies. Block attack, I would go for attack attack. For a little bit more attack. Um, do you have attack attack? No. Okay, for your attack attack, um, I'd probably go with speed on her, speed attack, speed attack, okay, this is decent, um, speed HP, attack HP, energy, yeah, not too bad, looks like you have a little bit in here as well, I'd probably tree of origin that, honestly, since, um, you have the food. You have a lot more food in here. Um, there's like nothing that's holding you back. You can't even regress it if you wanted to. So, you know, might as well get the little bonuses from here. And have another red hero on your team. You know, making your team look cooler. There we go. Let's reset this right here. Put this in here. Probably put you in like. Mm, yeah, let's just put you in second slot. You don't really matter too much. Because uh, you're just going to die anyways. And second slot was. Or used to be the safest slot. In here. Uh, we want you to go like that. Yeah, there we go. Um, Looks like a good team. But yeah, let's see your seal land. Uh, 21, 21, 21, 20, 23, 25. At least you got a 25. You could definitely get 25 on this with just uh, Halora, two Ignises, and uh, I think just a bunch of support heroes. I don't think you really need much more than the two Ignises. Maybe a wall deck? I'm not sure. I, ha I have videos on it where, like, I go with it in with a, like, 700k attack Kalora and two Ignises, and we were able to beat it because it was a long time ago. But, yeah, you should be able to do it easily with 700 attack. Or if you want to uh, swap homes and um, make her a homeowner, she could probably get a bunch more attack. I'm not sure who or uh, tenants are but you could figure that out um even just the normal e5 heroes if you give them like uh or you can't give them v4 but if you just give them flags and uh, good gear and then put attack attack on them like you know the stone attack attack they should be able to give you quite a decent amount especially if your homes are leveled up so yeah you should think about that um tower of oblivion you're barely on 9. 
honestly, it's not that bad, especially considering the account um, power here. With Vortex, Rank was sure you could definitely get into Dominator easily. Um, here, looks like you know what you're doing. Just keep doing that. I would buy the cot. <clears throat> just because you're not going to find it this cheap anywhere else. And you need cot for Destiny. So, definitely want to start stocking up more on that. Especially how close you are. You just need the, um, wait. One. Oh, okay, okay, okay. I thought you were really, really close. Um. So you got fifty, fifty-three. Um. For these, any yeah. Okay. Um. You got seventy-three right here. A lot more sublimation. Well, it's not that much, but it's a pretty good amount. Um, <clears throat> 50 on, um, Vesa. So if you want to finish that off and you want to go for Vesa, honestly, that wouldn't be a bad idea, especially how much you're invested into her. So that's what I would do. I'd make, I'd make the Vesa core and then just keep on getting as many cores as I can for her. Did you do this event? Is that how you got it? Um, event go, no, you still have five more to do and you have four right here so wow actually that's um pretty good amount can you cook more um how do you get these again pretty sure it's from this stuff so if you could get if you got 10 more orbs no you don't um oh <laughs> okay um, can you get anything from this? I don't think you have any chests like that. So if you could get, oh, 26 of these though. That's really not that bad. It's actually pretty good. Um, maybe up here. Or you could definitely get a bunch of stuff from here. Two seven stars. Um, you could probably get that right now, honestly. Where is the tavern? Team quest is the one with gems, yeah. So what I would oh you have fifty of these? So what I would do is I would get um those uh seven star tavern quests do this, um then get the core of origin chest because or yeah, this one because you wanna get as many of these as fast as or not free, yeah. You want to get as many of these as fast as possible to get into the destiny, which will high power your count a ton. That's my advice. Um, you seem to be doing good. You already know how to play the game since, uh, you know, you've been playing it for quite a bit of time. Definitely try to progress in campaign. Let's see how far you actually are. 1-4. That's not that good, but then again, you don't have an Aspen, so... I would probably, why is it lagging? Ooh, why is it lagging? I don't like this. So I'd probably swap this. Um, that's super annoying. Um, let me just finish up my train of thought. I don't know why I crashed like that. Y'all, most of y'all aren't even going to see this anyways. If you did, just comment, nice video betrayed. You know, try to keep appearances uh, low. Actually, let me see if this isn't leaking anything. Um, no, I don't think this is really only this much percent of CPU. Why is it this bad? Okay, I don't know why, but maybe it's because I've been running macro on my computer for so long that blue stacks is just lagging. You know, it never kicks me out when I'm playing Valorant, and you know, that's like a highly um demanding game i guess you could say but anyways if you guys did like this video make sure to like and subscribe also my last train of thought was um maybe make aspen and probably swap out mm, maybe that halora or or what well, swap out the homes for aspen and then um uh, in your team 
you probably want to regress Halora just to give those stuff to Aspen or HHA. Honestly, I don't really like that dude. I know he's strong, but uh, you kind of want to have him in a good home, which you don't have since you don't have your second home yet. And I'll definitely keep uh, Vesta in the first one. So I'd probably put Aspen in the second home like I'm doing on my main account. And yeah, that's pretty much what I would do. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to like and subscribe. If you want a um, account review, make sure to DM me on Discord. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace out.